Lord Anthony Gifford was responding to the question, what would it take to move countries like Jamaica with a colonial past to say we no longer need the British monarchy? I had the honor a few years ago delivering a lecture in honor of Marcus Garvey. I looked up some of his writings. Marcus Garvey would have been appalled. <coughs> Here we are, so 50, how many years after independence? 56. Mm -hmm. And we've still got the Queen as our head of state. You look at our constitution, it's permeated with, with references to Her Majesty. Her Majesty in Council is our highest court. Um, and I think it, it needs leadership. Uh, if they, uh, if they, the, the, there would be two party agreement if the government took the plunge. If the people need to be consulted, so be it. I will go around this country and exhaust myself to campaign for the abolition of appeals to the Privy Council. Is the holding on to the colonial past a part of the damage done to the Caribbean people as a result of slavery? I think <clears throat> this is one of the fascinating sides of the work of reparation, is to identify the damage that subsists to this day from those atrocities and awful experiences of the slavery days. When I introduced a debate in the House of Lords about reparation, I was challenged by the government speaker the case of reparation is based on saying that there's damage that's still being suffered as in consequence of slavery. There is no evidence of that. Now, I think our sociologists, our doctors, and all kinds of experts are needed to come together, both to prove the links between the atrocities of slavery and today's problems, family problems, sex problems, all kinds of problems, and at the same time to work out a program of reparation, which we can then insist on being enforced. He was speaking on JNN's program Insight on Wednesday. Michael Sharp, Frontline News.